What's up everyone? Your home may be the victim of extensive water damage due to storms or heavy rains. Leaks in the walls and floors can also arise due to lack of maintenance, or even small holes you may not be aware of. While extractors and pumps will solve most of these problems, there may be liquid hidden within the surfaces themselves. That's why you should use a dehumidifier. If you've never used a dehumidifier after a water leak before, it can seem complicated or just plain confusing. In this video, we break down the steps on how long to run a dehumidifier after a water leak. By the end of the video, you'll know the basics and be ready to use it on your own. If you want more information or further detailed steps, check out the links in the description below. If you have tips or tricks on how to make this easier or have another video you'd like to see, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So grab a snack or drink and the necessary supplies and get comfy. Here we go. Step one, affected area's size. The length of time it will take to dry a water leak depends on how large the area is that's affected. If there's only minor damage, you'll only run the dehumidifier for a few hours. However, more extensive corrosion will take longer to sort out. So you might need to extend it another day or two. Step two, humidity level. In the summer seasons, the humidity levels are generally higher. Dehumidifiers work harder during this time to remove dense moisture from the air, which means they'll need more time to sort out that water leak. Step three, damage control. Some materials are less absorbent when it comes to water leaks. Prime examples include linoleum and concrete walls, floors, or ceilings. If carpets, wood, or drywall partitions are involved, you'll need to run the dehumidifier for an extended period. That's all there is to it. Now that you know how long to run a dehumidifier after a water leak, give it a shot. If you thought this video was helpful, please press that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have further questions, let us know in the comments below or check out the links in the description. Thanks for stopping in and we'll see you soon in our next video.